Hello, uh, my name is Edward Pankov, and today is February 15th of 2018, and I'm in for a treat today because I'm going to see for the first time a work by the renowned author and playwright known as Nikolai Gogol in his work known as Diary of a Madman, played by a man named Ilya Volok. Please, please don't punish me, but, but if it is your will to punish me, please, please punish me. Punish me with your excellency's own hand. But my tongue somehow refused to move and I, I was only able to say... <coughs> no, ma'am. She, she smiled and she dropped her handkerchief. I just... It seems like this is a character who is mainly obsessed with experiences outside of himself. Um, someone who wants to go out and see, go out and experience. Would you say, um, how would you say, like, you essentially like, identified with this character? I think, uh, yeah, it's a good question. I think, uh, I think everybody could to some degree identify with him because it's we probably most of us experience the unanswered love uh, uh, desire to achieve something and not be able to to get to a certain level and not be able to get there especially when you're putting in a certain you know frame in society and you feel like you hit the you know there is no there is no way you could advance and I think in that respect it's uh, everybody's I think it's everybody experienced that to some to some degree that's why you know it's a, I think it's a simple it's a simple story it's a story for you know about you know um, unanswered love and uh, and that and that you know fighting against you know those restrictions, and be, be the only way I, Paprishwal, Paprishin, he can only fight that is to, you know, using his imagination and becoming a king of Spain, becoming something in his own mind. I mean, for the outside world, he's crazy. You know, for him, it's I think it was a natural, natural course of things. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a, and I think it's a good thing that he's not, he doesn't become violent. Right. You know, and I was, I was thinking the exact same thing, like, how much is this, is like, what do you say, there's schizophrenia or psychosis, and how much of it is so relatable to like every single person who, at some point in their life, goes through a similar period, or a similar process, or a similar... Yeah. I think maybe, in an interesting way, I think Gogol maybe was the first who actually, uh, you know, pinpointed the you know schizophrenia because I think at that time it wasn't. Was yeah, 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 but I think I think that's that's w what it is. And uh, again, it's just I think it's a little. Um, you know, we all I think we all or a lot of us we are on the verge sometimes. Uh, you know, of falling off, and you know, some of us stay on course. You know, because maybe we find some strength inside, and some. Can't. Now, I understand that isolation is a very big element of this work. Um, my question for you is, knowing that, you know, that the way like an actor would process isolation in their work, or like a writer would process isolation in their work, or say even the character himself, how much would you say would be your isolation in the character? How much is that propitiation speaking in isolation? How much of it is Gogol speaking in isolation? Well, basic, basically, the job of an actor to complete, you know, I think the, the, and the most difficult thing is to make it any piece of dramatic material your story. And that's, I think, the challenge for an actor. Um, and I think that's when I approach the work, any work, I try to, the biggest challenge is to bring myself into it, you know? Oh, so, we definitely saw that today. 
yeah. It's all very I, sincere. And and it's you know this thank you and thank you and this car this writing allows that, but it, but it's also what's great about this particular writer, he's. Um, Although he's considered to be a real realist, yeah, he you know pays he, 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 attention to the detail and everything. But I think he also, it's uh, there is an element of heightened reality. Dear mother, save your poor son. Shed a tear on his aching head. You see how they torment him. Press your poor orphan to your breast. There is nowhere for him to go in the whole wide world. They're hunting him down. Dear mother, have a pity on your sick little boy. And did you all know this? Hussein Pasha of Algeria has a ward right under his nose.